I am Oscar, I'm 13, and I play the drums. I'm Mazin, I'm now 13, and I play, oh no, I'm vocals. <laughs> uh, I'm Wolf, I'm 14, and I play a synthesizer. We all went to this alternative school for elementary. It's called Alpha Alternative. There's like no homework and lots of democracy. I think we were coming back from a field trip on the TTC. Wolf started drumming on the back of a seat, and then Mazin was rapping over it, and we're like, we should start a band. I think we really talked about what we wanted to sound like and more just happened. Because we, we all had astronomical differences like of taste and music. Artistic differences did come up already. They get frustrated with each other when one person tried to take over. In my opinion, without Alpha, we actually probably wouldn't be a band because we wouldn't have been as encouraged to uh, continue and pursue the band like we were. It is one of the oldest democratic public schools here in, in Canada. I would say rather than grades or rather than um, written assessments, there's a lot of story sharing about one's learning. And so music here has always been just incorporated into a lot of the stuff that's going on. I think that this is like one of the biggest concerts that we've done in our band's history. You win Battle of the Bands. That's Are we the only kids? Yeah, you're the only kids. So is that a disadvantage or an advantage? Well, you could maybe make it an advantage. I just don't want to be seen as like, oh, there's a bunch of kids. I want them to actually take us seriously. Yeah. Being a little bit different because of age, it's what sets them apart. And that, that uniqueness is something that they are going to, I think, thrive on. You couldn't find three more different folks than, than Oscar and Mads and Wolf. In that band, there is spark, there is thoughtfulness, there is gravitas. Hi,